in Standish, and we are back this month to talk about microlearning and how that relates to fitness. So, what I think about microlearning and fitness is that a lot of people tend to think that they don't have time to work out simply because they don't have an hour or an hour and a half that they can leave their home and go to the gym and have to think about a workout design and uh, they end up giving up on the idea altogether instead of realizing that fitness can also come in micro um, sections or chunks, or however you want to call it. Um, and today I have for you just three exercises that you can do quickly um, throughout the day. You could do them a bunch in a row if you have time. Um, and what I want you to do instead of trying to add exercises on and make things more complicated is to just focus on these three exercises and having proper form. So, very quick and easy, basically what you're going to do is 20 jumping jacks. So you guys remember jumping jacks when you're a kid? So 20 jumping jacks, then you're going to do 20 squats. So just down, up, down, up. And then you're gonna get down on the ground for plank toe taps. So you're in plank here and you're just gonna tap one foot out to the side and then the other. So from the side, you can see that I'm here and then I'm just tapping out to the sides. So the things that I want you to focus on are keeping your core tight uh, through all of those exercises. Um, but for the squats, what you'd like to, I'd like you to focus on is to stay seated on your heels. So just like you're gonna sit in a chair, sit back here as opposed to coming forward like that. So back here, down, and up. Core should still be tight. And then when you're in the plank, again, the core should be tight and you want everything to just be like a board. So you don't wanna be pushing back and you want your shoulders to stay right over your uh, elbows. And then I'm gonna squeeze my butt cheeks and then just one leg at a time goes out. So, you can repeat that, like I said, maybe two or three times in a row, or you could just do it quickly in the morning, and then in the mid-morning, and then lunch, and then dinner. Um, and then by the time you've finished your day, you've done you know, 15 minutes of exercise, which is a lot better than if you just gave up altogether thinking that you didn't have time for a workout. So, um, that's how I think that micro-learning can fit into exercise. Don't try to make it too complicated, just do the best you can and focus on a few things at a time and good form as opposed to just giving up altogether and feeling overwhelmed with the whole process. Stay tuned for next month's video.